Today on Press This, we talk about two WordPress sliders. Not the delicious kind that you can eat either. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, pleasure to see you as always. As always. This is the show where we compare awesome WordPress stuff, themes, plugins, and all this other crazy Anything WordPress. News. Yeah, news. It's right. got WordPress in the title. Yeah, We're going to cover it. Or a WordPress sticker on it. We're going to take a look at it. <laughs> look, we want to get to 500 subscribers on YouTube, so please hit subscribe if you like this awesome WordPress content, or if you like Dan. Yeah. Uh, go to our site, slocumstudio.com slash blog, and then slash subscribe uh, to join our mailing list and be the first to know when awesome stuff comes out. Absolutely. What are we looking at this week? We're looking at two slider plugins for WordPress. So we know how much you folks like your sliders, um, though there's a debate whether or not they're good for your website. And I assume we'll probably touch on that a little later. Mm -hmm. um, but well, you want to get into it before we talk about yeah. the sliders? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. So some of the recent like design trends that are coming out are kind of pushing away from using sliders because the not so friendly mobile interface, mm -hmm. um, the not so friendly real estate on mobile like an iPhone or an Android phone, um, and the overall time it takes to load. Yeah, I mean that's the big one. The, the killer is the time it takes to load for your you know landing on Google and things like that. That is going to be a factor in their algorithm. And if it's taking your page you know 15 seconds to load because you have this gigantic slider image or slider display gallery right in the top of your page, it becomes very, very problematic very quickly. Mm -hmm. So when we, um, we look at that, what we're saying in the web design side, when we're, you know, doing uh, web design for a potential client <clears throat> is structuring, usually your sliders on your homepage right. is just structuring a nice waterfall flow of content, of content. instead of stuffing it into a slider, um, hoping that the user is going to be just sticking there on that top above the fold. The fold really doesn't even exist anymore right. in these days. Um, let them scroll down to find uh, that other content. Right, though, though I will say that both of the options we do have today are responsive in design, so you can implement them into you know, your cell phones or your iPads mm -hmm. or your computers or whatever it is that you're looking to use it with, which is nice. I'm, I'm almost concerned just in general if the slider, and maybe it's just a personal thing, if the slider is a good idea in the first place. I, I know personally, like one of my favorite websites is to go to, I'm a huge gamer geek. I love to go to IGN. And I find that they have these giant slider pages right at the front. Their website's pretty quick. I'm not, you know, going to give them that credit. Their website is pretty quick to load. But I find myself just clicking on the headlines yeah. that they show as opposed to going through the slider. I mean, there's plenty of other websites like that. Yeah, it's just one of those things. It's like, remember back in the day where people were like, oh, I got to have a counter on the bottom of my site oh, so I, I can that. see yeah. how many people oh, yeah. actually came to the site. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's kind of the route the slider is, is taking, unfortunately, getting taken out to the back uh, of the shed soon yeah. to be laid to rest because... It is one of those lazy things like, oh, we just need a slider on the... What, what's the first thing we're going to put? We're going to put a slider, right? Yeah, absolutely. Why? <laughs> Why are you going to put a slider? I don't know, because everyone That's what else the kids is doing, are doing right. these days. We need a slider. In our... uh, speaking of slider plugins, I don't think we've even mentioned what we're talking about That's today. Right. Uh, we're talking about Soliloquy, uh, which is a... Uh, these are both... I'd like to note these are both premium uh, plugins we're looking at today. But the first one is Soliloquy by Soliloquy. looked like to be the company name. And then we have Woo Slider, which, of course, needs no introduction. It's part of the... Woo Clan, we talked about last week's episode when we talked about the new WooCommerce coming out. Um, but Woo Slider from them, which is their version of the slider plugin. Mm -hmm. So when we take a look at these two companies, what's the first things that we want you to think of if you are considering uh, using a slider plugin? Soliloquy, all he does is create this slider. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all he focuses on. Um, mm -hmm. Awesome performing slider. Yep. Uh, finely tuned, mm -hmm. loads really super fast. Get a ton of features that one could put in a slider. Right. Um, WooCommerce, again, needs no introduction. It's the Woo guys. If you're part of their ecosystem or you're thinking about being part of their ecosystem, uh, you know, no better plugin to choose than, than their own because that's the support you're going to get. Just another check mark for their, their basket there. I just, I think, combined like three different Pri sayings. But anyways, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pricing, pricing wise, Soliloquy. 20 bucks for the single license, 100 bucks for the developer license. This is lifetime. 
yeah, lifetime licenses for both in both cases. Obviously, very enticing if you want to put slider images for the thing again, what the kids like for all your all the all the businesses you're working with. Um, one thing, el another thing to note about this is the developer license is the only way to get access to their premium add-ons, which is a very very interesting. I don't know if we've talked about a plugin yet. Have we talked about a plugin on the show that does that? Um, not specifically, yeah. but um, that kind of just you know. Yeah, pushes you to the hundred dollar premium offering yeah. to get that access. It's, yeah. it's also an interesting business model. I I, I don't mind right. it. A hundred bucks again, if you're making money by reselling the site or you're making money on your site, right. it's not breaking the bank. Yeah, if your clients look at the pop of a slider image and go, I'm, and they take out their wallets, then a hundred dollars isn't a bad proposition whatsoever. Right. <laughs> um, so let's take a look at Soliloquy. Absolutely. Easy to use. Mm -hmm. Uses the WordPress media uploader, which yeah. I like. It's not an. It's not a separate script running. Yeah. Or uh, a separate program. Right. I'll, I'll make a quick slide about that later. Go ahead. Um, simple uses short codes to be embedded into into posts and pages. Works with video, especially if you're using Vimeo, because Vimeo mm -hmm. has a great API that you can plug mm -hmm. into. Oh yeah. Um, it's responsive out of the box. Mm -hmm. And if you are a developer and you and you are getting the add-ons, well, first I should say there's also an add-on ecosystem. Yeah. I love I love ecosystems. <laughs> I know you do. Um, <laughs> but you can also get cool filters. Uh, and right. other Instagram right. stuff right. Um, that you can pull in uh, with these add-ons only if you're that uh, on that developer model, right? License model. It's a lot of really really cool licensing options. Of course, they have your basic stuff, short codes and and things like that as well. That a lot of these plugins are going to kind of have de facto now yep. at this point. Woo Slider comes with three different levels. I think they could probably do away <laughs> with with the middle one, but who yeah. knows? It's their business. Yeah. Twenty nine bucks, so it's nine dollars more. Uh, mm -hmm. to get the single license, 59, uh, 49, excuse me, to get the five site license, uh, and then 99 right. bucks to get the unlimited sites. Right. Um, nine bucks more, you know, again, we're not talking huge amounts of cash. Right. Um, and if you're in the ecosystem, uh, not a bad choice. Right, because you're <laughs> it's going to integrate with all their other stuff. It's going to look similar. So if you're familiar with like the sort of their very easy, clean, slick interface, it's, this is no different uh, of an operation mm -hmm. than those other guys. Um, so all the same great features, short codes, easy to use, integrates fine with WordPress. Uh, I'm sure we'll work with Woo themes with their own <laughs> themes. Um, Absolutely. The interesting piece on the WooCommerce side is it's built off of their own slider technology called Flex, side, uh, ver Flex Slide version 2, um, which is uh, available for free. So if you're a developer um, or a designer, you can kind of pull that code down for free and build your own slider out of it. Um, with the, uh, the uh, obviously benefit to buying Woo Slider as a premium plugin is it comes with all these awesome other features and makes it easy to use. Right. Whereas you're just getting the core uh, if you download the free GPL version. Right. Um, no tires, right? <laughs> no it's just motor. <laughs> right. There's no seats. There's no steering wheel. The there's no tires. Running, but there's nobody behind the wheel. Right. Um, but if you are a theme person or developer, you can grab that code and kind of work with it. Uh, in your own project great. support from WooCommerce great you know um, we, we have no issues with them <laughs> we beaten that one to the ground <laughs> <laughs> right good stuff um, so as, in terms of sliders there's not much going on with a slider I mean how much are you going to really sell on a slider how many options yeah. can you possibly have without making yeah. it too I, much of a pain I think we covered literally every option you can think of mm -hmm. for what a slider should or shouldn't have in it, in it. You know, yeah know. And we'll have, uh, of course, obviously in the video, you, you will see screenshots and different uh, yeah, yeah. cool things about each slider. Of course. We like them both. Um, like them both. You know, I, I think that if you are not part of the Woo ecosystem, go with Soliloquy. It seems to be a really mm -hmm. lightweight, powerful mm -hmm. uh, slider. If you're already in WooCommerce, yeah. go with Woo Slider. Makes Absolutely. sense. You're already there. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's good. Um, so we'll look at uh, other uh, either free or premium uh wordpress sliders if you have of any of your own please yeah. recommend us or re recommend to us what those sliders you have no are no problem looking at yeah your own sliders you have no problem looking at if you guys have plugins you want us to take a look at let us know we'll, we'll take a look at them we'll we'll tell you what we think do let us know uh anything that you want to see on the show subscribe i want 500 subscriptions uh to youtube or 5,000 if you already saw 500 um, do hit our site, slocumstudio.com slash blog and slash subscribe to subscribe. Tell your friends about us. Yeah. We want to spread the word about uh, all the awesome WordPress stuff uh, that we can introduce to you. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. Thanks.